Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to read chapter 11 from The Mummy with No Name. Are we ready? Good. So, chapter 11, A Mysterious Shadow. The professor looked glum. Oh, why did I let that papyrus out of my paws? Now we have got to find both parts, he groaned. Hmm. We started down the long, long hallway. I lagged behind. All of the dust was turning me into a sneezing machine. Achoo! I squeezed again and again. Finally, I stopped. And that's when I saw it. A mysterious shadow was growing on the wall. It grew bigger and bigger. Who was following me? The shadow stretched toward me like a claw. I tried to scream, but no sound came out. Instead, I heard another sound. The sound of someone singing in an old, raspy voice. Mummy's creeping here and there. Mummy's mummy's everywhere. They sting of mold and rotten things. They'll make you wish you had some wings. Mummy's hiding, watching, waiting, making you sweat, anticipating mummies. The shadow was creeping closer and closer. Please don't hurt me. I come in peace, I yelped. I held my breath as I turned the corner, but there was no mummy there at all. The shadow belonged to an old lady mouse with thick glasses. She was washing the museum's floor with a bucket of soapy water and a mop. When she smiled, I could see she was wearing dentures. I turned purple with embarrassment. So this was who had scared me out of my wits? This frail little old lady mouse who looked like she wouldn't swap a fly? I gave her a sheepish smile. Then I ran off. Soon I caught up with Benjamin, Bugsy and the professor. Professor Soundsnout gave me a sheet of paper. This is the floor plan of the museum, Geronimo, he explained. You will need it to help me search for the missing papyrus. Oh my God, we have a lot of action in this, in this chapter. Okay, let's go to today's work. Here is the following page. This is the... Um, the, the plan that they are going to follow and the different parts of the museum. Cool. So, it's role playing time. Let's get into groups and practice these lines. Don't read the words that are between brackets, okay? So, next Tuesday, you are going to perform for your friends. You are going to show, you are going to act these lines to your friends in our reading Zoom that will be like theater Zoom next. So, um, we've written down this script. We have five characters, okay? We have narrator one, narrator two, professor, old, old lady mouse, and Geronimo. So, you can get in groups of five, of, of six maybe, and then you separate the lines. And here you will find the same script for the chapter as we read before. Okay, I will read it out aloud one, one time. Narrator one. The professor looks glum. Oh, why did I let that papyrus out of my paws? Now we have got to find both parts. Come on, Geronimo, follow me. Narrator two. The professor and Geronimo started walking down the long, long corridor. Geronimo. Achoo, achoo, achoo. I can't stop sneezing. Narrator 1. Geronimo couldn't stop sneezing and lagged behind. Geronimo, wait for me. He looks around very scared. That part you don't need to read it, okay? Oh my God, what is that? 
a narrator to Geronimo saw a mysterious shadow growing on the wall. It grew bigger and bigger. And Geronimo goes, <gasps> he tries to scream, but no, count, no sound comes out, okay? Those are some indications for Geronimo. He tries to make, but no sound comes out, okay? Good. The old lady mouse will sing. In here, you can create the rhythm that you like, okay? Mommy's creeping here and there. Mommy's mommy's everywhere. They stink of mold and rotten things. They will make you wish you had some wings. Narrator one. The shadow was creeping closer and closer. Geronimo. Please don't hurt me. I come in peace. Narrator two. The shadow belonged to an old lady mouse with thick glasses. She was washing the museum floor. Geronimo, oh, it's you. Geronimo gives her a shy smile and runs off. So he makes... Ger uh, narrator one, Geronimo ran as fast as he could until he caught up with Benjamin, Bugsy and the professor. And Professor will say, this is the floor plan for the miss of the museum, Geronimo. You will need it to help me search for the missing papyrus. Okay? So, let's, let's practice these lines all together. And then on Tuesday, you are going to show it to your friends. Okay? If you have any question, just send us a message and we'll be right back with you. Okay, see you around. Bye-bye.